i'm finally ready to talk about it without me you're literally nothing we're going to have to let you go go where before you take any job in this uk make sure that you are bound by a contract another vlog you guys it's the last day of school or well, technically it's not the last day of school i still have a class tomorrow but i mean i'm excited year one is over and that's on period <laughs> i don't know i feel like i'm bending let me just raise my camera up a bit yeah so i mean year one is over you guys can already tell that i'm excited we're starting summer holiday in full force by next week i have like so much to tell you guys a lot has changed in the past three four weeks okay i have a new well technically it's not a new job but i have gist regarding my job i haven't been on air for a while because i had to finish my assessment but now that i'm almost done the pressure is has it has that reduced a bit okay so i'm just going to start vlogging again start filming i'm excited to be vlogging and i feel like this summer holiday is even going to give me more content ideas so yeah if you're new please do not forget to subscribe okay you're welcome to the channel my name is timmy subscribe to the channel okay subscribe 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 so yeah um let's just let me just get myself out of this room because i have a class by four o'clock and it's currently past three so i need to get myself out and yeah do what i have to do meanwhile i'm i don't know which one to go for i think i would either go for this stop or this one i don't know what do you guys think I don't know. I think I'm going to go for this one. Yeah. Yeah. that the venue has been changed like now i have to go to the class they moved it the venue they moved the class to and i'm already late like so annoying Hi. Hi. 
It doesn't count. It doesn't count. I do work with my stuff. I don't see what it's called. I got to class and the class was over. Like, tell me why I came. <laughs> but yeah, I'm on my way back home. Um, I'm kind of hungry. Like, I'm actually very hungry. So I'm just going to um, go get something to eat. I'm going to get home and just you guys about what has been going on so guys i'm home now and i'm just going to be spilling all the tea giving you the gist of everything that happened but i feel like my 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 hand will start painting me very soon so i need to set up my tripod or something don't mind my position i don't want to make this too serious because <laughs> i mean it's a serious matter honestly but i also don't want to make it like feel like a sad moment or a to be honest, I don't want to drag it too, too much. So, yeah, I'm just going to briefly talk about what happened with my bakery and... Why do I keep saying bakery? What happened with my baking job? Take this like I'm just in you. So, um, obviously, like you guys already know that I got this job. I got this job um, through, like, submitting my um, hard copy CV at the restaurant. If you don't know how I got this job you should check out the link yeah i'm going to link it on the side of this video so long story short i started this job and it was you know it was going good going well only for them to wake up one day and say that we're sorry we're no one we're no longer in need of your services we're going to have to let you go in my head i'm like go where as where are we going to how and then um just said oh because i'm a part-time worker they need someone who can work full-time for the restaurant so they more like want to employ a full-time worker so because of that i the part-time worker has to go now like the part of this is that that i don't understand and i feel somehow about is the fact that i didn't get any notice they more like they just woke up that day and they were like we're tired of this timmy girl and we just have to let her go right so like i didn't get any notice I, nobody told me anything and at first i felt really bad about it because i could have planned myself better if i had a notice or something also i left a stable job i mean at the time i was working in the care home i didn't like it okay but it was stable i mean it was stable to an extent like even during the holiday I can just call them to let them know I'm on holiday. I need extra shifts or something like that. So like, um, yeah, and I think that was a mistake I made, honestly. Starting this baker and pastry chef role, I mean, I told my parents and my dad was like, oh, are you sure you want to, you know, resign from your care job to start this bakery role? And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's what I've always wanted. Those that knew me from Nigeria know that um i mean i love baking so much i just i not only baking i love cooking i just love the kitchen to be honest i i i mean it just it excites me long and short so i mean i told him that i i liked i like this job so i might as well just take a job that pays me to bake for them or to you know do some chefing things in their kitchen apparently the reason he asked me at the time was to be sure that that you just wanted to be sure that the job was a stable one it was reliable at the end of the day and i told you oh yeah it's reliable i mean it was like the easiest interview that i've ever done in this uk it was the fastest job that i've ever gotten in this uk because like they just called me and i started working like a few days after it felt like a blessing in disguise and loki i think god just wanted me to do this job so it could teach me a thing or two <laughs> to be honest and i learned my lessons actually i really did long and short of this matter is that i lost my chef as i lost my job as a baker and pastry chef at the restaurant and yeah now what did i learn from this whole matter or saga what i learned is that as an international student you the last thing you want to do is start a job and lose it like 
barely a month or two months after you started okay so i mean when they when i started this job like i said it was a very fast process i didn't have like a contract binding either of us okay the fact that i didn't have a contract binding us they could treat me anyhow because if i was a contract bound staff or a i don't know or like a full-time staff or something i mean something that has like a paper work that shows that i work for them they can't just like tell me to go without any notice if that makes sense so yeah so i feel like that's one of the things i learned in that period i learned it the hard way also another thing i learned during this period is the fact that <sighs> getting references in this country can be somehow after i lost the job the, the job i started applying for other jobs and because i've had i had care experience i started looking more to working in care homes doing support jobs and all that but to do those jobs you actually need like references in fact to do any job in this uk you need references so yeah i started asking this particular company i worked for reference and if you see the way they dragged me up to now i've not been able to get a reference from them but yeah <laughs> that's another thing to learn like ah <sighs> oh, this country will stress you this country will actually stress you but yeah things are better now and to the question of the day where do i work now i went back to the care home that i used to work like you're not going to believe it i went back there and they took me back so yeah i'm back there i've been working there for about two weeks now that's to tell you that i was jobless for a whole month and okay another thing i would say i learned is that i mean as a christian i i would say that god revealed himself more to me during this period because i mean you know when you don't work for that long for like a month in this country in fact <laughs> my week when you don't work for that long in this country you're already thinking of how you're going to pay your bills are you going to pay your rent are you going to feed how are you going to do all like there's a lot of things that you will lack if you don't actually work but you guys i work i didn't work for i was jobless for an entire month and i was fine i was fine and that is going to take me to what i did how i was able to sustain myself in the one month that i didn't have a job okay now for this one i'm going to have to make like a proper sit down video to talk about it i can't include this in this one because this one is very serious that one is a is a serious it is a serious aspect of what sustained me during that one month and i'll say that god brought people my way god helped me you know god just really wanted to tell me that see it's not your source it's not the what the things that you know how to do or the job that you're doing that is sustaining you in this country like at the end of the day i am your source okay without me uh, you're literally nothing <laughs> nothing okay i think that's another major thing i learned in this period that's just i just really wanted to just you guys if i will happen to like if you should come and yeah before you take any job in this uk before you take any job in this uk make sure that you are bound by contracts <laughs> make sure that you have a contract binding both of you just so that they don't treat you anyhow you know they don't tell you to go without any notice okay anyways that is all i came to tell you guys like this video and subscribe to the channel okay thanks so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>